There will be a referendum under a Conservative government in the next Parliament, and we'll do everything we can to get this bill to become law even before the next election. It reinforces the commitment of the Conservative Party to a referendum before the end of 2017 on a reformed Europe, and it's had a good start. I'm very pleased that it's been endorsed by 304 votes to zero, and there were Labour MPs who tried to block it by procedural tactics, but they didn't have the courage to vote for it or against it, uh, and so we will continue uh, to press it forward through Parliament. This in itself doesn't guarantee it, although of course if we got this onto the statute book and made this law, uh, then it's much harder for other parties to turn against it in the future. And indeed the, the bill that we have passed two years ago, the, the Act of 2011, that now requires a referendum if any British government gives away more powers to the European Union, uh, now has been accepted by all the other parties over the last two years. So of course we hope this would happen to this bill. In any event, under a Conservative government, after the next general election, that commitment to a referendum uh, by the end of 2017 on a reformed Europe, on a better relationship with the European Union, is absolutely crystal clear. Well, it's a commitment for the next election. That's not electioneering. That's telling people what we are going to do. Uh, and our opponents, that is the Labour front bench, have had weak leadership on display, again, unable to summon up the courage to vote for or against uh, in a week when they are dominated by the Unite Union that's become ever clearer. They're unable to pursue the policies this country needs on education, on the economy, or now on Europe. It is truly weak leadership.